Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. Uh, Saturday, March 30th, 2024. And Macari has made a pretty big announcement about the fee, the $2 fee for ACH transfers. If you didn't get the email, they did let everyone know they are waiving that fee until April the 3rd. So it is just a few days, but if you have money in Macari right now or over the next couple of days until Wednesday the 3rd, I think Wednesday's the 3rd, you can get that money transferred um, with no fee. It's free. After that, it's going to be $2 for normal transfers, $3 for instant transfers. Again, do not quit selling on Macari because you have to pay $2 fee. I always tell people to take your money off of these platforms every day because there is no reason to leave your money in a platform ever. It is your money. Take it. However, there's now a reason. It's because it costs you money to get it. So you have to be strategic with using your transfers. If it's a couple times a week, four bucks, six bucks a week. How much are you saving in 10% fees? If you're somebody who does $1,000 a month on Macari, that's $100 in fees. Clearly, you would have to transfer money 50 times to offset that. So it makes more sense to pay a $2 fee a few times a week than it does to pay 10% of your sales. So you are still coming out ahead. Also, real quick, I just forgot to mention this. This audio is being filmed directly on an iPhone 15 Pro Max. I just finally upgraded from the 13 Pro Max. Um, I was having some issues, you know, when you get that kind of wiggle when you charge your phone and it kind of charges and then stops charging. I had the, um, I used to be in the cell phone business. I think most of you know that. I had a really good cleaner and spray and everything I did with the charging port. Didn't seem to help. Went to bed a couple nights ago, woke up, phone was charged, plugged in, never charged. So I know the charging port, I had to just get it just right. It was starting to be a pain. And this is why that's important <clears throat> because I know a lot of you have seen me use these clip-on microphones where you clip this on and then you plug this into the phone. Well, this is a lightning um, adapter. I think you guys could see that. Also on my Rode, I have a Rode Wireless um, Go. This is a really good microphone. Same, same story. It's a lightning. So the new iPhone uh, 15 is a C. So I had to buy adapters. They have little tiny adapters I could do there. So I can't use my microphones, which have good audio or this one. Um, so I'm using the audio on my iPhone. I ordered them Prime. They should be here Tuesday or Wednesday. It's a holiday, so it might even take a couple of days. Good brand if you want it, Ulanzi. So these are um, two wireless mics. If you ever want to be a YouTuber or TikToker, create. You get two of them. You can clip it to someone else too. So you just clip them on your shirt. You guys have seen me use these. This goes in your phone. They sell these sets with the um, C cable adapter instead of the, the lightning cable. But of course, I had a lightning cable when I bought them last year. I'm not going to buy a new set. The set's fine. I just bought an adapter. Very easy, but you can clip on, you can do an interview, same time. Very cool, just thought I'd point that out. So this audio is on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Not sure how it sounds. We'll find out in a few minutes when I put this video up. Uh, let me know what the audio sounds like, but for the next couple of days, this is the audio you get, and uh, until I get my adapters for my microphones, and then we'll go back to using mics. That will sound better than the last few videos with them because that is where the charger port was failing, which means when these things were plugged in, it wasn't getting a solid connection. With that said, back to Macari. People are up in arms, and this is going to be like the last thing I really comment about Macari unless something changes um, once the fee comes back on, once this waiver period ends on the 3rd, that they're all up in arms about the fee, or yeah, about the transfer fee, but you're you're saving 10%, which, you know, if you're somebody who does $100 a month and it's costing you $10 to sell a Macari, the transfer fee probably is going to outrun that. It just, you know, if you're only doing 100 though, you're only making a few sales, so you're not really transferring all that much. You could transfer once a week and be fine. It's just not worth quitting over it. The problem I see is the returns. I've said this before, giving the buyers that instant three-day return window, like for any reason, that that is something you're gonna have to watch. So if you start getting a ton of returns, can somebody confirm for me if we're paying for the returns or Macari's paying for it? I think we are, right? As a seller, if somebody uses that three-day window, somebody confirm for that uh, down in the comment section. I should look that up before I uh, came on here. But if we're paying for it and people are just return, 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 that could, you know, if you're somebody who does a thousand in sales, hundred dollars in fees, you're spending some of that on transfer fees, say 30 bucks in transfer fees. So you're up $70, but all of a sudden you're getting a bunch of returns. You could outrun the savings on the fees with the return cost. So that's something to think about as well, but just manage it, watch it, monitor it. It's not a guarantee that you're going to get a whole bunch of returns. You may never even see returns. You may get one here and there, and it never even becomes a factor in your numbers and you're saving your 10%, you're paying a couple of fees, but overall you're doing better. So 
Don't let the sky fall in on you. Don't just go, oh my God, I'm quitting Macari. I'm quitting Macari. Relax, guys, relax. I swear, resellers get in their own way. They're their worst, own worst enemy sometimes. It's so frustrating to see. Don't give up $1,000 in sales on a platform simply because you don't want to pay a couple extra bucks in fees. When you get rid of the entire selling fee, it doesn't make sense, right? Anyways, that's kind of my story and my uh, spiel for today. Uh, I am working all weekend if you need anything. Rockstarflipper at gmail.com. In fact, I brought home, I don't usually do this. I try not to bring stuff to the house, but I brought home one of my clients' um, inventory. They shipped us all this inventory. We pay to have your inventory shipped to us. Not usually here, but I brought it home because it's a long holiday weekend. I wanted to work on it and knock some stuff out and Kate's gone. So we brought it home and this is fulfillment. We did the photographs for this client. We did the listings for this client or they're currently being done. And then we provide a SKU, barcode SKU, like we do on every single item. They're all individually bagged. And then they will go into a bin once I'm finished bagging them. I'm, I'm bagging them right now and putting the SKU into eBay so that it matches, if that makes sense. I'm doing that to all that stuff over there. And then once they're all bagged up and ready to go, I'll take them back to the building. I just wanted to get some work done here at the house uh, without having to drive back and forth to the building all weekend. And um, this client's inventory is now photographed, listed, and will be stored. And whenever it sells each morning, I'll pull it out, pack it up, choop, in the bag, out the door it goes when it sells. If you're interested in a service like that, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. Um, we can do clothing, we can do shoes, we can do collectibles, toys, electronics, small stuff, nothing huge, nothing big, glass, breakable, you know, trying to keep stuff in the couple pound range, under a few pounds to start until we get built up. Um, we have a couple thousand pieces already in inventory. Um, so we might start taking some other categories. I don't know. Email me, rockstarflipper gmail.com. I'll give you all the details for the Fulfillment Center, Ecom Fulfillment Solutions. We take care of it all. Photographs, listing, storage, bag, tag, and sealed. Signed, sealed, delivered. That's the song, right? Anyways, enjoy your Easter, guys. If you celebrate it, if you're here in America or you celebrate it across the world, wherever you are. I know most of my channel, 80% is in the United States, but I know I have some of you over um, in Europe, in the Middle East, in Asia, all over the place. So wherever you were watching from, thank you for being a part of the channel. Thanks for watching. Go sell a Macari. Don't freak out over it. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, if you're celebrating the holiday, be safe. Enjoy your family, your friends, and everybody else, your loved ones. And I'll be here working. Think of me. <laughs> At least it's sunny outside in Tampa. Thank you, uh, as always, for engaging, hitting the like button, subscribing, commenting on the channel. Leave me your comments and your thoughts below. And until the next video, until tomorrow, uh, from this iPhone 15 audio, hopefully it sounds okay. I will see you guys later.